This is a flange for a standard shop back, two and a half inch opening. I want to make an adapter so that way I can put different size hoses on it. And uh, I'm going to 3D print it. And in order to do that, I need to know what these threads are. And when I measure them out, they are not standard. So what they come out to is a 68 inch uh, or 68 millimeter um, major diameter. And the thread pitch is oddly enough a five, five millimeters. So standard would be a four or a six. This comes out to a five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how I model this in Fusion 360. There's not a lot of clear cut cases uh, explaining exactly how to do it, how it works. So uh, let's get going. In order to model threads in Fusion 360, there's a few basics that we're gonna to have to understand. We need to know what the minor diameter is, which is going to be the measurement down to the root of the threads. You're gonna to need to know what the major uh, diameter is, which is typically um, going to be the nominal size of the thread, the uh, largest diameter of the, of the OD of the thread, and then the last one is going to be pitch. So pitch for Imperial is going to be, you can take one inch of thread, count out your threads inside that inch, and that's gonna be TPI, threads per inch, pretty simple. For metric, you need to measure uh, from the center of one thread to the center of the next in millimeters, and that will be your thread pitch. For what we will be making, uh, we've got a major, which is closest to 68 millimeters, 2.675. We've got a minor of 2445, real close to 62 millimeters. And then our pitch, peak to peak measurement is 195 thou or five millimeters. And then if I wanted to compute that out into imperials, so that way we have threads per inch, you can take one inch divided by your peak to peak, and that's gonna come out to five in this, uh, which is gonna give us our threads per inch. Um, as we get into fusion, I'll discuss the, the section size and, uh, and what to, to keep out there. In Fusion 360, we're gonna model these threads out using a few sketches and then the coil function. So you can see one that I have already modeled here. Uh, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through and make this again quickly and show you guys how to do it. Hopefully explaining out everything. I haven't seen anything else uh, across YouTube that truly explains out what each function is. So we're gonna go ahead and do that for you guys real quick. So what we're gonna do is come, we're going to make a new sketch on bottom plane. You can really use any plane you want if you're gonna be doing 3D printing. And what we're gonna do is we are going to make a circle to the major diameter. Uh, in my instance, it was 2.675. Um, we're going to bump that up, give it a little bit of clearance to 2.7. Uh, hit enter and then hit E for extrude. And we're going to bring that up to a half inch for this test. So that's going to give you a cylinder. We are going to go ahead and use the shell function on this. You click your face and we want to bump this wall out. We're going outside and we want to come out 200 thou. And oddly enough, when you do this, it makes the shell and then leaves you at bottom. So if you come down, hit control and click your bottom, it'll do everything. So it'll give you a nice hole. Click OK. And from here, we're going to start our coil work. So click create and go to coil. We're going off the bottom plane again and just bring this out. And we typically do this to our minor diameter, um, which was 2.445. And I'm gonna bump that up to about uh, 2.5, just to make sure we got some clearance again between um, the different, the major and the minor, the minors, we need some clearance there. So gonna bump this up, give us, uh, what is that? About 27 thou side. Click enter there. And here is our coil. You see it's big, it's crazy looking. We're gonna trim this down and I'm gonna explain exactly what's going on here. So for type, we're gonna use revolution and height. So that's how many revolutions over how many inches. So we've already set our diameter at 250. I need, since I'm going a half inch, um, we know that uh, my TPI, my threads per inch is five. Um, this are all the measurements. So the measurements you're gonna to need to take 
uh, off your piece are going to be your major diameter, which is the outside, your minor diameter, which is the inside of those threads, and then your pitch, which in the in this case it's metric, so we got to take peak to peak, um, which was five millimeters, 195 thou. It's fairly close. Um, and you can take one inch divided by your 195, so call it 200, and that's going to give you five threads per inch. So with that, we are going to, we're only doing a half inch, so we want to take 2.5 revolutions. If this was a full inch, we would obviously use five. And the height, this is only a half inch tall. So bump that down a half inch, and you can see it disappears because it does not like our section size. So I bring my notes back up again. We know the section size is the major diameter minus the minor diameter, and then you divide by two for each side. So that's gonna bring you down to 111 thou and some change. Um, but what we wanna do is we wanna add a little bit so that way we've got some clearance again. Um, so I bump that up to 125. So we're gonna take the section size and go up to an eighth inch. And we want an operation. We want this to be a new body. We want everything to join in um, all as one. So your section, if you were making a bolt, you could make a cylinder and wrap this coil around it. You would do external. For us, we're making the nut, so it's going to be internal. You can also do Acme, circular, a few other things. So with that, click OK. And you'll see that we have made it here. So... Um, one of the things you'll see, if we look at it from the front, you're gonna see that we've got a piece of coil sticking out of the top and a piece of coil sticking out of the bottom. So I'm gonna show you a real quick and easy way to get rid of that. And we're just going to, again, uh, use and abuse the extrude function. So we're gonna create a sketch off this bottom plane. I'm just going to do a circle, bump it up, it needs to be bigger than your part, and then click E for extrude. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're on cut and we're just going to drag this down. So what that's going to do is it is going to cut off that little piece of coil off the bottom. We're on cut. Just click OK and it's gone. Now this top one, a little more finicky, but again, super easy. So what we need to do is we need to make an offset construction plane. So construction plane, we're going to go off the bottom and we want this plane to be a half inch uh, high, which is going to put it uh, exactly at the height of our part Click OK, and you'll see that that plane is perfectly in line with the top right here. So we're going to create another sketch, and this time we're going to go off of that plane, do a circle bigger than our part, hit E for extrude, and we're going to go ahead and drag it up. That's it. Make sure we're on cut. Hit OK. All right. Now we're looking good. So from here, uh, one other thing we want to do is we want to take these peaks off. When you normally look at a thread, they're not exactly peaked like this. So we want to take those off. Again, it's going to give us a little more clearance. This can make your thread sloppy, but if you take all your measurements right, you should not have any issues. So we've already given it um, a few thou aside just by making our coil bigger. But what we're going to do is we're going to take off a little bit more. So we know that this ID is going to be two and a half. So we're going to create another sketch. We're gonna, we're gonna take another 25 thou side off. So sketch off the bottom. We're gonna do a circle and we want this circle to be 2.55. So add 50 thou, hit enter, and then E for extrude. And you'll see when we drag this up and cut, you'll see these peaks get cut off. See how they're going flat? Cut them off, make sure you're on cut, hit okay. There you go, now you've got some nice form threads. All right, so if you wanna check these threads, what you can do is split this body. Super easy. Um, you can use a plane if you want. Uh, I like to just make a line real quick. So create a sketch, bottom plane, L for line, and then drag it through. Hit escape to get rid of this guy and then we're gonna finish sketch. We're gonna to go to modify, split body. We're gonna click on both bodies. So those are the bodies that we're gonna split. Hit your tool and it's gonna be this line. We could also click this uh, face, whichever way you guys wanna do it. Perfectly okay. Click that, click okay. And now we have split our body. 
So all you'd have to do is go to bodies and shut off the corresponding ones. And there you go. Um, I'm going to jump back to this one real quick. We're going to split this guy in half. That way you guys can see what we got working here. So I know that this one is exact to my measurements. This is what I'm going to print. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to inspect these threads and make sure that they're good. So you can click uh, inspect and you're going to go over in your threads and you're going to pick a point. Go back over here and pick another point. Try to make it as straight of a line as possible. And you'll see that I'm bumped up um, about 30, 30 thou and change um, bigger than my uh, minor diameter. So that's perfect. Reset that. We're gonna go get this major peak to peak. You can see 2737. Um, so again, another 60 thou ish um so 30 aside that's going to be more than enough clearance to do what we need to do so that is essentially how you do it all right so we throw that in our slicer software i printed this guy out real rough 0.3 millimeter uh lines so it print fairly quick took about an hour to print this guy but uh you can see the threads look real nice very similar to uh what we saw over in Fusion 360 and go ahead and give her a test see how they look threads right on they're actually pretty tight even with the uh, 30 thou side between major and minor um, yeah turned out great so give that a shot guys if you ever have anything hopefully you can just use the uh, the typical standard threads that are in the system um, but if you do have to make something custom like this, not hard to do.